up everyone sly here with Flo. Flo, man day two free agency what do you think about it man there's a question going around jake brendel five million dollars mosley six million million dollars going to the lions do you like it man sure up that center position or do you wish we would just kept mosley and try to find a center in the draft or we got jason poe other guys out there what do you think man Sure up the center position, man. What are you talking about, man? We thought this guy was gonna be out of here, man. We were hoping freaking we're gonna go get what's the name from Cleveland? Um Polsick. Polsick. Polsick, yeah. And then um we didn't. We we signed Jake Brendel. I think like you said, we have a guy in Poe last year mm -hmm. was the undrafted rookie yep. who looked better than him at training camp. The guy was he might be small, but he's one of those guys you said who's really good at leverage mm -hmm. and he's strong as hell. I think that guy could beat out know, Jake Brendel this year. So we're gonna have to owe him how much did you say? Five million? Uh yeah, twenty million dollars through four years. Yeah, so we're gonna have to owe him pretty much five million a year. I think we overpaid for him that money could have went to mosley i understand mosley is hurt but when mosley's on the field he's one of our better cornerback or for quarterbacks yeah. if it wasn't for injuries he probably would have made the pro bowl last year the year before he still probably also would have had a chance so i think that's big especially because i don't know who we're going to replace him with um off the top of my head i, re I really can't think of it because our corners they're probably our weakest point point on our defense i understand Compared to the previous years, it was our better uh, secondary group, but I still think that the secondary is suspect at times. Man, honestly, I feel like I'm in La La Land all over Twitter, all over YouTube. People are loving it. They're giving it an A, talking about Brendel, and I'm just like, what the hell am I seeing? I want to give a shout out right now to CG Ruthless out there. He's like us, man. We're like on an island over here saying that Jake Brendel's garbage, and honestly, he is. In my opinion, he is. If you look at his PFF rec record, it's very average at best. Um, people are like, but he's a Pro Bowl alternate. Here's the thing, guys. The Pro Bowl is voted a lot of it by the fans. The 49ers have one of the best fan bases out there. So they're voting for our guys, you know. So we're going to have a lot of alternates out there because the Niner fans, the faithful, we're a huge fan base. Jake Brendel got cut everywhere he freaking went, man. And all of a sudden, this guy's a stud. No, man. It's because of Kyle Shanahan, the quick passes. And we run the ball hell a lot. They're saying, oh, he only gave up one sack a year, dude. He got so many damn holding calls. So many times where he's supposed to hike the ball and we get five-yard penalty because he's the only guy that has the ball. Everyone else is fucking moving, you know. Did that in the playoffs. Did it a few times. at keep uh, position. I remember against Atlanta. We were trying to drive down the field. Huge mistake in that penalty. I don't know, man. I love Mosley. Mosley's my guy, man. You know, I'm a Tennessee guy, um, college volunteers, and we picked him up, undrafted free agent, man. I was so happy, and the guy's been amazing since he's been here with us, and he's a starting caliber cornerback. For $6 million, I think that's a bargain, man, but I don't know. It seems like every year this happens, man. Where we just get the stupid ass contract from all these players. The first year, John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan. Remember who we picked up? Malcolm Smith. He was with the Seahawks and he went to the Raiders. The dude with the Raiders, he missed the most tackles in the NFL. And we signed him to a big, fat ass contract. I remember Pierre Garcon that year too. He was like 34 years old. And we picked him up to a big ass contract. Jake Brennan's going to be 31 years old when the season starts. He's, to me, it's not worth it. I know everyone else seems on Twitter and the YouTube content creators are loving it, but man, I don't see it in this guy at all. We were at those training camps when his ass was on the ground and even when uh, Trey Lance got hurt, his ass was supposed to be blocking that linebacker and he fucking got, he whiffed and then Trey Lance got hurt. So I don't see in this guy, man. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm at a loss for words. We should have kept Mosley. Yeah, we should have kept Mosley. And it kind of worries me too, because we also lost Jimmy Ward. So that's two mm -hmm. guys in our secondary who yeah. we're going to have to replace this off season. I'm not sure if they just have someone in-house that they really believe in, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And I wish we didn't give that contract to Jake Brando because now we're going to have him for the next couple and of years. And the thing is, if we would have kept Mosley, had him on the outside, Lenore was thriving in the inside at that nickel position. So now what the hell is going to happen? I think have Samuel Wolf Mac out there. I don't know. He looked kind of good out there, but then sometimes he was just getting toasted. I think we could have killed two birds with one stone right there, re-signing Mosley. And to me, I would have paid six million dollars and let Jake Brendel walk, man, and use one of these other guys that out there uh, to try to find that center position. Because like I said, Jake Brendel, man, he's been a journeyman everywhere he's went. I know a lot of it has to do with us, uh, Chris Foster, our um, offensive line running coordinator. 
his ass was with him in Miami, so he was probably giving a good word for him. But honestly, man, it seems like every year we do this. So so far, I mean, I like our what we did with Hargrave and everything. But every year we always get this dumbass contract, and this is one of the years. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, week 15, when I was starting to call out Javon Kinlaw, everyone was like, "Oh no, he made a great play against Washington." I was the one that kept saying this guy's fucking playing like shit. I've been saying it all along, and then finally people noticed it in that playoff game when his ass was on the ground every play in that those playoffs against the Eagles. So I mean, I'm just saying well, I'm just telling you guys what I see and I'm pretty sure I'm right about this man yeah well both uh, Kinlaw and um, what's him, who are talking about Mac who's that who are we talking about right now uh, Drake Brendel oh yeah both Kinlaw and uh, Jake Brendel in that preseason against the Vikings man, both of those guys looked horrible we knew it then we were yeah. like oh man these guys aren't going to be it for us and mm -hmm. it showed later on down the road we got bit in the ass because these two guys specifically but i don't know yeah man that's just our thoughts man i know a lot of people out there are happy but there's few guys out there that believe what we believe in i'm telling you right now i'm gonna stick stay on that hill believing that jake brent is a sorry ass player shout out to you cg man for feeling that way and going off in that video but that's pretty much it man right yep all right well you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about day two free agency like comment subscribe hit that notification bell see y'all next time peace, peace.